Hey everybody, this is Jenna from Musings from the Middle School. Back in September, I wrote about how I structure my 90-minute daily math block. Part of that block includes some guided math time. I wanted to give you an update to let you know how things have been going for me this year. One of the changes that I made to my guided math time was incorporating the use of a math menu board. This has been one of the best changes I've ever, ever made in my classroom. The math menu board is basically a collection of different activities that the kids can work on as soon as they're finished their assignment for that day. What's great about these is I spend a lot of time gathering them up and putting them together into this menu, but after I do that, there's very little work for me that needs to be done. Most of these activities, aside from a few of them, you know, have no papers for me to grade. There's nothing for me to look at. I don't have to do a lot of upkeep, and that has really cut down on my paperwork this year. I do guided math for the first half of my 90-minute block. It always starts with the kids coming into my classroom. On my document camera, I have displayed the answer key from last night's homework. The kids get their homework out. They check themselves. I walk around to make sure it's all finished. If they have a question about any of the problems that they did the night before, they can ask a peer. And if a peer can't help them, then they can raise their hand and I will come over and give them help with any of the problems that they might have missed. After we have homework all squared away, we start our guided math time. I do have a BSI teacher who comes in for the first 40 minutes of our block each day. Her job is to work with a small group about the material that we covered the day before. Her group is flexible. We determine the kids who are going to work with her based on how they performed on the exit ticket from the day before, how they performed on the homework from the night before, or sometimes kids will actually ask to go and work with her if they just didn't feel comfortable with the lesson from the day before. The students who are not working with the BSI teacher have an assignment that's projected onto the whiteboard. During this time, I am circulating around the room available to help anybody who might be struggling with this assignment. After the students are finished, they go and check their own work with the answer key and then they have to bring their notebook to me so I can check to see how they did with it. After the students check in with me and I give them the OK, they're allowed to go and make a selection from the math menu board. Some of the choices include working at a math station, playing a game, or working on a math site or on a math app on one of the iPads. Some kids also choose to be a peer coach. These peer coaches have an opportunity to go around and offer some help to their friends who are working on the assignment that day. It actually is one of my favorite choices on the math menu board because some of the students are such a natural at this and I love to sort of watch that little teacher come out in them. The only choice on the menu board that I change every day is the enrichment station. And this isn't for all students, it's just for students who've really, you know, proven that they completely understand the activity from the day before and they need a little bit more of a challenge. I love these plastic photo frames that, you know, you can buy really anywhere. I think I paid $2 for these on sale. They're great because they can display not only the activity, but you can also stick the answer key right in the back so they can check themselves. After about 35 to 40 minutes of guided math time, the students clean up and head back to their seats where I have a do now waiting for them. And then I just continue for the rest of the period with whatever math lesson I have planned for that day. So there you have it, a little bit more on how I implement guided math and the math menu board in my math classroom. Thanks so much for watching. Happy teaching.